King Arthur and the Black Knight. Chapter One: A Beautiful Day. Long ago, a great king named Arthur ruled over Britain. He was helped by a wizard named Merlin. He also had the help of the bravest knights in the land. They were the Knights of the Round Table. One day, King Arthur and his knights were riding through the country. They were near the forests of the Usk. Arthur and the knights stopped to rest under some trees. Suddenly, a wounded knight appeared, coming through the forest. He rode slowly on his horse. The knight's servant helped hold him up. The hurt knight's clothes were covered with blood. He had a large cut on his side. Arthur asked, "Who is this man? What has happened to him?" Arthur told a knight to help the wounded man's servant. Everyone wanted to hear the wounded knight's story. Chapter Two, Sir Miles's Battle. The wounded knight's servant approached King Arthur. To tell the knight's story. This man's name is Sir Miles. He began. We have been riding for a long time. Sir Miles has defeated six knights in the past two weeks. This morning, the servant continued, we came to a great castle in a valley. We met three young girls. We told the girls that we were looking for adventure. They told us about a road. It leads to a stone bridge over a river. They said we would find our adventure there. <laughs> we followed the road and found the stone bridge. We saw a castle on the other side. There was a large apple tree near the castle. It had many shields hanging from it. Sir Miles went toward the bridge. Then he saw a black shield. It was hanging from another apple tree. There was a brass hammer next to the shield. Under the shield there was a sign. The sign read, "Whoever strikes this shield will be in danger." Sir Miles took the hammer. And struck the shield. He hit it hard. The sound could be heard all through the forest. Then the gate to the castle came down. A knight dressed in black armor appeared. The two knights battled on the lawn. The Black Knight defeated Sir Miles. He took Sir Miles's shield, then he hung it in the apple tree. He left Sir Miles lying on the ground. He did not offer to help Sir Miles at all.
Sir Grifflet's servant came. He said, Sir Grifflet is coming. Then they saw the young knight. He didn't have his shield, and he was hurt. King Arthur went to Sir Grifflet to hear his story. Sir Grifflet had fought the Black Knight and lost. The Black Knight had taken his shield, just like with Sir Miles. Arthur became angry again. He decided to find the Black Knight and defeat him. The next morning, Arthur dressed in his armor. He rode off on his white horse. He was ready to fight the Black Knight. <laughs> Chapter 4 Three Girls Arthur rode through the forest on his white horse. It was a beautiful day. The land was filled with flowers and trees. The air was filled with the songs of many birds. After some time, Arthur came to a wide valley. There was also a great castle in the valley. He saw three girls playing. Arthur rode down toward the girls. He wanted to ask them how to find the Black Knight. King Arthur approached the three young girls. The tallest girl asked, Where are you going, sir? I am looking for adventure, said Arthur. The most beautiful of the three girls spoke to Arthur. We have seen two knights in the past two days. They came this way looking for adventure. They were both hurt very badly. Come, you should eat with us. King Arthur ate with them. Then they told him how to find the Black Knight. He thanked them and left. <laughs> Along the way, Arthur rode through a dark, dirty place. He saw three filthy men. They had long knives. They were chasing an old man with a long white beard. Arthur held his spear. He charged on his horse toward the men. He shouted, Stop! The three men dropped their knives. They ran away. Arthur looked at the man with the long white beard. He saw that it was Merlin. It's a good thing I came along. I saved you from those men, Arthur told Merlin. Merlin said, It may look like I was in danger, but I could have saved myself easily. However, I am here to save you from a great danger. You are on an adventure. I will come with you. Arthur agreed to take Merlin along with him. Then the two men left. <laughs> Chapter 5 The Black Knight <laughs> King Arthur and Merlin rode for hours. Then they came to the bridge. Arthur found the shield and brass hammer near the bridge. He struck the shield hard. The sound could be heard all through the forest. The gate of the castle came down. The Black Knight came out. 
<laughs> Why did you strike my shield? The Black Knight asked angrily. Now I shall defeat you in battle. I will hang your shield in my apple tree. Arthur shouted back. We will have our battle, but you will not take my shield. The two men rode their horses to the lawn. They both got their shields ready. They got their spears ready. Then they began the battle. The two knights charged toward each other quickly. They ran into each other in the middle of the lawn. The spears of both knights were shattered, but both men stayed on their horses. Each knight took a new spear. They charged toward each other again. Once more, both spears were shattered. Again, both men stayed on their horses. The two knights charged a third time. This time, only Arthur's spear shattered. However, the Black Knight's spear broke through Arthur's shield. It cut into the king's side. Arthur's horse fell down, but Arthur landed on his feet. Arthur ran to the Black Knight. He pulled the Black Knight from his horse. The two knights began to fight with swords on the ground. They fought with each other angrily. Arthur hit the Black Knight so hard that his sword broke. Then the Black Knight struck Arthur hard. His sword cut through Arthur's shield and armor. King Arthur fell to his knees. Chapter 6 A Quick Recovery King Arthur's head was covered with blood. He slowly got back on his feet. The Black Knight was also hurt. But both knights continued to fight. At last, the Black Knight pushed Arthur down. He held Arthur on the ground. He was ready to kill Arthur with a knife. Suddenly, Merlin appeared on the lawn. He struck the Black Knight with his staff. The Black Knight could not get up from the ground. He could not move. Merlin helped King Arthur to his horse, and they rode away. <laughs> Merlin cleaned King Arthur's wounds. He made Arthur rest for many days. Once Arthur felt better, the king wanted to fight the Black Knight again. Merlin said, You have no sword! Yours broke in the battle, but I know where you can find another sword, Merlin told the king. We must go to the forest of adventure. There is a magic lake in the forest. In the middle of the lake, you can see a woman's arm. She is holding the greatest sword in the land. Arthur asked, Is it a magic sword? Yes, said Merlin. It is Excalibur. Many men have tried to take the sword, but no one has taken it. <laughs> King Arthur and Merlin rode to the Forest of Adventure. They found the lake there. Arthur saw Excalibur. The sword was shining in the sunlight in the middle of the lake. 
it was held there in the hand of the Lady of the Lake. Chapter 7 A Special Sword King Arthur saw a woman by the lake. She was watching the king and the wizard. Arthur approached her. The woman's name was Naimu. She was the keeper of the lake. She told Arthur how to get the sword. Naimu said, Only a man without fear in his heart can take the sword. Naimu showed Arthur a boat made of brass. This boat would take him to the sword. Arthur stepped into the boat. It floated quickly toward the middle of the lake. The arm holding Excalibur did not move. Arthur took the sword in his hand. When he took Excalibur, the arm of the Lady of the Lake sank into the water. The sword was his. Now King Arthur was ready to fight the Black Knight. He and Merlin rode back to the Black Knight's castle. <laughs> Chapter 8 The Second Battle Arthur struck the shield to call the Black Knight out of his castle. Then, once again, the Black Knight and King Arthur fought on the castle lawn. They both broke their spears. Then they began to fight with swords on the ground. Now that Arthur had Excalibur, he easily defeated the Black Knight. But after the battle, Arthur saw that there was no blood on his armor. He was not hurt at all. The Black Knight begged for his life. Arthur said, Yes, I will let you live. But I ask you to let your two sons go with me to Camelot. They will be Knights of the Round Table. The Black Knight agreed to send his sons with King Arthur. Arthur was glad. With his sons as part of the Round Table, the Black Knight would not fight the King in the future. As they rode home, Merlin talked with King Arthur. He told the king, Excalibur has strong magic. However, the sword's sheath has even stronger magic. Whoever wears it cannot be wounded in battle. Arthur told Merlin, This is a very special sword. With Excalibur and its sheath, I will become a great king. Merlin smiled and said, No, Arthur. The sword will not do that. Your heart will make you a great king. In fact, King Arthur became the most famous king ever to rule Britain. <laughs>